Hi guys, welcome to the start of my pregnancy vlogs. What? Hi guys, I wanted to start off this video by saying um, that this was intended to be like a fun... <laughs> Sorry. This I... was intended to be like a fun little first trimester vlog um, where I like took you with me like before and after appointments and like kind of just like vlogged my life throughout my first trimester but I ended up feeling like shite for um, pretty much all of it from five weeks and on. So the first clip you're going to see is me like almost five weeks pregnant talking about like everything and yada yada um and like just starting off the video and then i showed you guys some like baby clothes that i have i kind of like talked about what i wanted to do for this video but not really but i ended up just being like super sick so um i didn't actually film anything really interesting this is just kind of like talking talking to you about stuff it's just kind of like a long facetime call basically is what this was but i'm hoping as i'm entering my second trimester it'll get more fun so today is saturday september 30th i found out last thursday um so that was the oh it was the 21st because it was the 21st night of september <laughs> um but i found out at three weeks and four days um i will be five weeks tomorrow so um this was a little bit unexpected but also not unexpected um i am due on june 3rd anyways i just wanted to start off this video so i can kind of make like um a first trimester pregnancy vlog um my first appointment is october 24th at eight weeks and a couple days so what the problem is like I hit my weekly milestones on Sundays and obviously the doctor's offices aren't open on Sundays. So um then like my first available appointments Mondays, but Mondays are really hard for me to get off of work or like go in later because Mondays are like our office days um at the store, so it's hard for me to get Mondays off. Um so I'm kind of just doing like Tuesday appointments unless um, my only option is Monday, which is fine. I like called the doctor um, to set up like new care. Like we created my first three appointments. So I have one at eight weeks, 10 weeks and 12 weeks. Um, so my eight weeks is my first appointment, um, my first ultrasound. Um, should be able to get to hear a baby's heartbeat. Um, and then at 10 weeks, they'll do my blood work and everything and I will meet the nurse practitioner. Um, so at 10 weeks, I will also find out the gender with the blood work, um, but I won't find out at that appointment. They'll take my blood and then they'll run it and then I'll get it, like, I'll get the labs in my, um, app a little while later. Um, and then I have my 12-week appointment, which is with the physician. Yeah, so that's when I meet the actual doctor. So I'll basically be working with the nurse practitioner and the nurses the most and then with the doctor. Um, Obviously, this is my first pregnancy. I'm super excited. Um, I am 20 years old, and if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you wouldn't know because I haven't posted any YouTube videos in forever. Um, but we just moved to Indiana from Illinois. Symptoms-wise, I'm not feeling a whole lot because I'm obviously not very far along. So um, my first symptoms were like a little bit of cramping, um, kind of just like period cramps. And my period was supposed to start, so I just thought about my period and then my period never started so um i've been extremely exhausted um i've also been working way too much overtime so that's also been part of it definitely um but i've just been super duper tired and i've had little bouts of nausea here and there but yeah that's not usually supposed to start until like around five six weeks so i'm sure i'm sure it'll come along later um oh i might show you the baby clothes that i have too let's do a little haul of all the baby clothes that i have so far also it's 8 30 and i'm in pajamas because i got home from work at like 4 30 and i took a shower and then i got in pajamas and got in bed and i took a little nap because i am tired this is what i bought to um announce my pregnancy to skylar um it's this little onesie and it's actually a pack and it was on clarence at target 
but it says it's got dogs on it and it says daddy's best friend okay freaking adorable and this is a zero to three months also um and then there's also this little onesie that's got dogs on it and then these little pants with a dog on the butt this is definitely more like boy-ish but i feel like it can be pretty gender neutral so it doesn't really matter um but yeah i have like several different sizes anywhere between like newborn and like six months i think obviously babies grow really fast i also don't know like how big the baby's gonna be when it comes out of me you know so like um i kind of bought i've gotten like several different sizes so like because i'm not gonna get just like a bunch of newborn clothes there's like a cricket out there and it's really loud anyways i'm not gonna get like a bunch oh it stopped as soon as I said that. Anyways, anyways, the other thing that I already had out was the this little onesie that says "cuter version of dad." I bought this um, forever ago because I wanted. I saw it at Walmart and it was like five bucks. Um, this is a zero to three months as well, um, and um, I got this at Walmart like forever ago because I was like, oh my god, this would be so cute to surprise Skylar with. Um, and then I ended up finding this as well, so I laid them both out. Moving on. Oh my gosh okay so um for mother's day we had um a collection at claire's of like mother's day stuff obviously and there's this hat and um this is what it looks like it says mama on it and it's a little denim ball cap it's so cute obviously it needs to be tightened but um I was like, you know, I didn't know how soon I was going to get pregnant. And I was like, I absolutely love this hat. It's so cute. I'm going to buy it so that I have it for when I do get pregnant. Because obviously it's like a limited time thing. Because um, they get like marked out of stock after the holidays over. Um, and I didn't know if it would be back for the next year. So I was like, just going to buy it. And I'm glad that I did. Back to baby clothes. So again, I obviously don't know what gender I'm going to have. Um... If I have another kid in the future, I don't know what gender they're going to be. Um, so I've kind of just bought a lot of plain clothes. Um, here is another zero to three months from TJ Maxx. A lot of these are from TJ Maxx because they have some good deals. So like this is um, Nike and it was literally $9. It's got like the little just do it all over it. It's little footies. Um, and then... It's also got like the flip over mitten things so don't scratch themselves. But isn't this so cute? It also looks huge for three months. Dang. One thing I have noticed is like sizing is so weird. So like this is zero to three months. Okay. This is also zero to three months. Let me just show you. The length difference. What the heck? What are we here, right? Anyways, this onesie I'm actually obsessed with. It's got little eggs on it, and it is so dreamy soft. It's the brand Angel Deer. It's a three to six month, um, and this was nine ninety nine. It's so adorable. It's also got the mittens um which i've heard is like really convenient to get sleepers like this um but yeah it's so adorable it's extremely soft and like stretchy um and i've never touched a kite baby sleeper but this is kind of like kind of reminds me of what like i think they're supposed to feel like so i was like hell yeah okay this next thing is from walmart again because walmart has really cheap baby clothes um and so if you know me at all you know that anytime i see something like with a sloth on it i have to buy it because i love sloths okay i'm obsessed and so i was walking through walmart one day and i found this it's got a sloth on the front and it's a little like jungle set with a little pocket and it's little shorts this is also zero to three months so cute it'll be perfect because um, I'm due in June, so this is kind of like perfect for summertime. Um, it might be a little bit big through the summer. 
um because i'm doing june so three months would be beginning of september um so i don't know but we'll see we'll see how big this baby comes out it is from tj maxx this is also zero to three months it's got this this is kind of like huge um it's just this little dinosaur set okay it's got these little pants with it and then a little hat and little socks you're kidding so cute um this was $8.99 for this whole thing okay that's amazing the last thing i have in here in that bag is another little onesie this is six months and this was on sale for six dollars it's just this little see why does this look smaller than some of the other ones the fuck? anyways it's this little nike like beige onesie so cute there's gonna be a baby in this what the fuck um okay and then i have bought a couple other things like there's a um sloth sleeper that i bought from old navy forever ago um but that's in my car it's been in my car for months um and there's another thing that's in the dresser but it's like what i'm using to announce so you'll see that eventually um but i don't want to go get it and then i did want to share really quickly um my best friend alexis got me this for my 20th birthday she got me a gift in a bag that says baby boys rock okay in it she had a pregnancy test which i haven't taken this one yet i'm gonna um she's coming over next sunday so i'm gonna take it um to give it to her to like tell her that i'm pregnant um but she also got me this little like set this is also three months it's from carter's it's this little like cute little top again the mittens and then these little footy pants and then a little hat that comes with it also so stinking cute um and then she also got me a starbucks gift card with that too and like so when i opened the card she said i had to open the card first it said happy 20th birthday there's a gift for you and one for more than you <laughs> as in one for my future baby which i didn't i don't think she knows that it's happening <laughs> this soon um but yeah i thought that was hilarious so that's all the baby clothes that i have right now um keep y'all posted as i buy more though of course i've already made an amazon registry that i'm sure i'll be adding to over time um, but I've kind of gone through the checklist because I want the welcome box. Um, and then I created a Target registry that has nothing on it because I want the welcome bag. I'm going to create a Walmart registry because I want the welcome bag. I'm going to create a baby list registry because I want the welcome box. Yeah, I'm going to create literally registries on everything so I can get the welcome boxes. Um, also, I'm going to like download some crochet patterns so i can crochet some um stuffies because they're gonna be so cute for my future baby so yeah i'll check back in with you guys when i have more to check in about i apologize for my appearance but i just wanted to come on and say hi i feel like we haven't talked in forever and the last time i updated you i think i was around like four or five weeks not for sure um i am 10 weeks in a couple days now um it is november 8th and I totally wanted to vlog like portions of my appointments with you guys. Completely forgot. The signs on my walls are so crooked. Yeah, so basically, um, I had an appointment at eight weeks and then I had an appointment at 10 weeks, um, which my appointment for my 10 week appointment was yesterday. Um, the battery went on, this is about to die, so let me switch it out really quick. So my eight week appointment was just an ultrasound um obviously just to like confirm everything um we got to hear the heartbeat all of that and then my appointment yesterday was to meet the nurse practitioner and um oh and then they did blood work um so we like talked about a bunch of things they kind of got a baseline of like me got to know me kind of got gave me some tips all of that um they also did a blood draw to do like all of my normal labs and then we also did the 
NIPT test. So I'll get those results back in about two weeks ish. Um, and then I'll be able to find out the gender, which is exciting. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that it was going to be two weeks for the results. Um, they told me it might take, or whenever I first like made my appointments and they told me that I was going to do that test, they told me that it might take like a week or so or something because like stuff was backed up but then they told me two weeks yesterday and I was like that makes me want to cry but whatever I'm really excited to know but it's fine um so yeah all of my labs and stuff are normal I have those results back we're just waiting on the um genetic testing I'm a little risk for everything so like it's not a big deal I really just did the test because um I mean, that way we know, but also I want to know the gender, like, ASAP, so there's that, too. That's really all the updates I have for you guys. Um, I haven't done any updates or vlogged anything because I've been violently ill, um, so it's okay. Doing better. I, when I was at my appointment yesterday, she, um, prescribed me a few different things to try, um, to, like, feel better, so she has me taking, um, like Unisom and then B6 every night, um, about like 30 minutes before I go to bed. Um, and the Unisom is supposed to like help sleep and stuff like that. And I took it for the first time last night and oh my god, it knocked me out. It made me like so drowsy and sleepy. It was great. I loved it. Um, like I didn't have any trouble falling asleep, which was awesome. Um, I've also been just like tossing and turning a lot at night. I don't know if it helped that because Skylar was sick. Um, so he was like snoring and sniffling and stuff all night so that kept waking me up it's fine whatever this video will go up at some point i just feel like it's so boring because it doesn't like really consist of anything because i haven't really done anything so going to work and then when i'm not at work i'm sleeping i haven't even had the energy to like read or anything which has been really sad but i think i want to pick up my kindle today and do some reading because the book that i was reading on here is really good and i would like to keep reading it if i can think of anything more exciting to share with you i'll share it but right now i got nothing editing me here again um so i was trying to put in the clip of us finding out the gender and um it was filmed on my phone not my camera and for whatever reason when i put in videos of my phone into final cut or like from my phone into final cut um it like makes them look really wonky and i don't know how to fix it um so i couldn't put it in because otherwise it looked crazy but um basically we opened up the envelope found out it was a boy and we were like wow and that was it hi i'm back um i just wanted to give you this little portion to end off the video um i am 13 weeks and like a few days um so i'm at the end of my first trimester not violently sick constantly anymore still a little bit um also the clip before this is going to be the um little video of us opening the envelope with the gender on it so um now we know it's a boy. To preface, like the reason we were so shocked is because Skylar was convinced it was a girl. I I have been stating anytime the gender is brought up, I'm just like, oh no, you can you can open the letter, figure out what it is. I know what it is. Yeah, he was very overly confident that it was a girl, which made me kind of feel like it was a girl. Is in fact not a girl. Um, so that's why my face in the video is just like, and Skylar's like. Because, yeah. Um, I hope that maybe I'll continue to vlog and, like, maybe it'll be a little bit more entertaining. But I feel like, um, all I do is work and then by the time I'm home, because I work a full-time job in retail, um, I come home, I'm, like, exhausted and I don't want to do anything. So, anyways, thanks for watching.